Send us a good question and we'll get you the answer. Tonight's question is all about an insect that drivers love to hate. Jade posted this on Reddit. Can someone educate me on what a love bug is? Well, Jade, we'd be happy to. And we've got the perfect person to do so. Uh, Chief oh. meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Well, number one, they come in pairs. Obviously, that's why they call them love bugs. Yes. Uh, but the, it's this is that time of year, and we have yes. actually two seasons of it. So, you know, I, I do the weather, but let me let me show you what I know about it. All right. So, two seasons. It's the end of spring, so you're April and May, lasts about eight weeks, and the end of summer, which is August and September. Now, the larvae, they actually live in the ground and they eat dead vegetation. It kind of helps out a little bit. But then the males will hatch and they'll swarm. And then shortly after that, the females will hatch and swarm. That's when the mating starts. It only lasts three or four to maybe five days. Uh, and the males actually, after they mate, they will hold on. And that's what you see them flying around in pairs all the time. Now, it's pretty interesting. They, they like warm weather. They prefer 84 plus degrees, so you generally see them from 10 a.m. through 6 p.m. And you know what's warm? The road. So when the road heats up, they swarm over top of the road and we come flying by and we kill them and then we complain about our windshield. So they're definitely acidic and that's the problem here because they can etch your paint, especially on the front of your car and even leave a stain on your windshield, which eventually will come off. So what you wanna do is wash frequently, but you can also apply wax after you wash it because that little thin layer of wax will help protect just a little bit, but you kind of have to keep up with it. Don't let it go two or three days. You really have to stay on top of it. Good news is the population is decreasing just a little bit, but it's not a huge thing. These things came from Central and South America in the 1920s over to Texas, and by the 1940s, they were here in Florida. There's some myths out there. They're geoengineered and this type of thing, and that they came from the University of Florida to, to eat mosquitoes. That's not true, <laughs> absolutely not true. They're from uh, Central America and they migrated here, just like we all migrated here, I guess. <laughs>